Ah, right, I think we have a genuine rover. Aha, yeah. Hello. That is so nice. Apparently, the ones of the Rover 25 and 75 and 45 are all the, the same size. So um, that's quite handy. And this is what you get on a connoisseur. Now, if you look at this, the bottom of it, we've got the tabs at the bottom. Now, there's no tabs at the top. There's tabs at the bottom. So what we've got to do on the old one, I mean, it doesn't matter because the old one's been damaged anyway. You push in with a flat bladed screwdriver. Try not to actually destroy any of the rubber, the, the plastic housing itself. So you go in with a flat bladed screwdriver or one of these, but I suspect we're going to have to use a precise tool to get in, push these tabs in, and then pop it out this way. So we're going to give that a crack and see how it goes. So we can see. It's only minor damage, but it's not too bad. I'll try and keep this as a second hand spare, but. There may only be a way of cracking this off. Now, some people say what you've got to do is take the mirror off and then go in from that side. That's another way of doing it, but I don't want to be faffing around with that because I'm not quite sure how it's mounted. And being electric, I don't want to damage it. Now, the risk is... Hello, guys, you can see me. Is You've got to try and not scratch any of this plastic. So what you've got to do is jab right in. So I'm going to have a look at the new one to see where the tabs are and push exactly where the tabs are. So, old one, new one. Now that's been polished up. Obviously that's just come out the box. Bit of a difference, isn't there? So, we look on this side. So we've got one, two, three, four, four tabs. The first one starts there. Better reference point for you, I've just put it against it so you can see where the tabs line up. So we've got to basically push where my thumb is there, there, there and there. Okay. Well that was easy. Um, I just literally stabbed it in with my um, screwdriver and it just literally popped back up. Now literally I'm just going to go like that. Oh my god. No damage whatsoever. Wow. See where it's been. It's been hit against something for it to go like that. So the tabs just go into here. So actually, that, taking the mirror out actually might be more of a faff than actually just doing it this way. That was easy. Just, I suggest getting a very, very very thin screwdriver to do this job. Just give that a bit of a clean. Well, it comes to something when you're cleaning this out. And um, yeah, I'm not easily spooked, but um, this is an actual nest, by the way, that's just fallen out. And if you're easily scared by spiders, don't look at what's inside that. Duh, please. It's actually crunchy. Oh God. I just, why am I poking it if I don't like the sound of it? Is that the case where we find things disgusting but we still poke and look at it? There is an actual spider in bits in that now. Now I've stabbed it with this. Ugh. Now we can just see that we get all this lined up. It should line up with the tabs up here. So I'll just pop that up there. Just might not quite go in there. I think it's best if we come from the bottom actually. I did that the wrong way around. So if we go in from the bottom because the tabs are like that, so we hook it in like that. And it literally should just might have to do this off camera because this is a bit fiddly. Basically keep pushing down and then push forward to click it in. No, I was actually right first time. What I would suggest is you go from the top edge, get this lip. So you've got this lip and it goes in that way, okay? So that's nice and done. Now we've managed to get the first clips in. That's just about gone in. You can hear it clicking to get it into place. Just, I'm just gonna have to do it off camera because this side is a bit more reluctant. 
Boy, that took a fight. This corner isn't quite sitting as nicely as what I would like it to, just a little bit out, but I've pushed it in and what you don't want to do, even with a rubber mallet, you don't want to get anything hitting this because that will basically end up with another one of them. Um, but it's sitting nicely on this side and you've, you've just got to start at the top and make sure that this lip has slid into the actual plastic uh, housing. And then once you've got the bottom down, just give it two hands and just push it down and you should hear them all clicking. And they have, it's just that side where it's just a little bit fraction more, but I think that's just how it's sitting, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know how the that one was sitting, but I suspect that might be the original. Um, because as I say, this door was is red. It's red on the inside, it's been replaced. It's had a weird accident, this is. It's had a very weird accident because I actually discovered not too long ago that that crash bar has got a little kink in it, the crash bar that goes just in front of the radiators. Now it has actually just, it's only got a little kink in it, not much whatsoever. But the bumper was obviously skewed. I think the headlight would have needed replacing. The bonnet was obviously pushed up, so this has been replaced. I have no idea about this wing, but it's in good condition. This door is red. This has been swapped and it's been blended. Now I've done the wet sanding and polishing. Look at that. There's a little bit of a difference, but not too much. But you can tell. You can tell with these things. I think the bonnet is a slightly different colour to the wing, which suggests that the wing is original. It's ridiculous. That, that's all been damaged. That The wing is fine. But then what about this door? Why has this door been replaced? I, I really strongly suspect that it's had more than one accident. Um, hence why the original has got this bash on it there. Um, so it, it's had a bit of a life, this car, put it this way. And with older people, you tend to get bashed corners and all sorts of stuff. I argue that this should not have been a cat C. I think that should have been more. Um, it's, it's very minimal, but it's more than structural. It's actually, effect, it's actually pushed onto the actual crash bar. Now, ideally, you'd have thought they'd have replaced that, but they haven't replaced that because it's welded. It's not bolt-on at the front. So, as far as I can see anyway. So I suspect that whoever bought it back off the insurance company, whichever owner, um, they bought it back, it was a cat C declared. Whoever decided it was cat C is an idiot because quite frankly, it should have been more than that. I think it's more than structural. Um, even though I've, you know, it's a safe car as it is, but you know, it's just one of those things to be aware of. But they bought it back, had new bumper, new bonnet, sprayed in Starlight Silver, or maybe it just had that color from the factory. It could have just been the original color. It's possible that was original and that original because Starlight Silver is um, quite a common, more the more common colors, I would say. Uh, Tempest Grey seems to be quite a common colour. Um, so if you've got one of those two colours, I think you're okay. Uh, but they couldn't get a Starlight Silver passenger door, so they had to get a red one, which I... Pers <laughs> There's only two red colours there are, uh, and one of them is a really nice one. I can't remember the name of it, but it's really, really nice. Um, but anyway, I'm glad that this has been sorted. But, uh, yeah, it's, a bit, it's had a bit of a life. But I suspect that the money to get this car repaired after the accident kind of stopped at the crash bar that would have been welding and a load of other bits done the radiator fan could not have survived because it's because the crash bar is further back than the radiator fans they've been replaced there's nothing wrong with the condenser the crash bar was not actually pushed onto the condenser or the radiator pack so that all that's fine the chassis legs are fine it's just the tiniest kink but it's more than structural but then, I'm not a vehicle accident assessor. But anyway, take care guys. Onwards to the Pride of Lombridge. See you very soon.